Welcome to the Inner Sleuths. Today on Inner Sleuths, we're going to be showing you how to set up PotBot for your Path of Titans community server. PotBot is a great tool that will add many much needed features to your Path of Titans community server. It has the ability to add everything from a chat relay to the missing nesting feature that is not yet a part of the vanilla game. If you're looking for not only a great bot, but also an amazing development team, look no further. Now let's mobilize as we sleuth deeper. The first thing we need to do in order to get started with using PotBot is to invite the bot to your Discord server. In order to invite a bot to Discord, you must have certain permissions. So make sure you have the required permissions to invite the bot in the first place. Navigate over to their website, www.potbot.xyz and in the top right corner, click Login with Discord. You will then be prompted to authorize PotBot. Once the bot is authorized and you're logged in, we are then ready to invite the bot to your Discord server. If you administrate multiple Discord servers, you will see them all listed here. As you can see, I have Cheeky Buggers United listed here, as well as my test server, Void's Funhouse, so make sure you select the correct one that you're trying to set up. After selecting the correct Discord server, you can see in the middle of the page, Invite Bot. Go ahead and click on that so we can get PotBot invited to the Discord server. Now that we have successfully invited the bot to Discord, the first step is to connect PotBot with our Path of Titan server. This is to let PotBot know what server information to use for all of its functions. In order to connect PotBot to our Path of Titan server, we will use the forward slash game server add command on Discord. We then need to provide the server name. This is the name of the server that will be registered to PotBot. After we enter the server name, we will then give the Archon information so it can execute all of its functions on our Path of Titans server. If you are unsure of your server's Archon information, you can check with your server host for the information depending on how you have your server hosted. Another thing of note is to make sure the Archon port is forwarded on your router if you are self-hosting. After collecting the Archon connection information, we can double check that the information is correct by using the Game Server tab on the left hand side of the PotBot website. Simply enter the Archon information here and then click on Validate. This tool is helpful to prevent PotBot from getting locked out of your server from too many failed connection attempts using the incorrect information. Now that we know we have successfully entered the correct information with the forward slash game server add command on Discord, we can continue with the setup process. Some of the features for PotBot are premium only and will require a Patreon subscription to gain access to them. If you have a license for premium, you can redeem the license and unlock all the features that PotBot has to offer. A premium license is not required for all of PotBot. It will, however, allow us access to some awesome features that we will be using on the CBU Path of Titans server. To redeem premium on your Discord server and unlock all the features, we will simply type the command forward slash premium space redeem. We now have access to everything PotBot has to offer. It should be noted that you should first link your Discord to Patreon before becoming a backer. This is to make sure that once you become a backer, your Discord account will gain access and be able to redeem premium for your server. Now we can add webhooks from Discord to our server. Webhooks are required for just about every function of PotBot. Without them, PotBot will be unable to communicate with our server. We create webhooks with the forward slash webhook space create command on Discord. After typing the command, select the correct server we just added from the previous forward slash game server space add command. Then we will want to select the correct type of webhook we are looking to create. And finally, we will select the Discord room where PotBot will relay the corresponding information. If you wish for this information to be visible only to admins, then you can simply make the room it is reporting to not visible to the public. This command will then give us a webhook that we can use on our server to complete the link. Copy the webhook information PotBot has just given us and navigate over to your server's game.ini file. This file is located by default on your server in the following directory path of titans forward slash saved 
forward slash config. You will then repeat this process for each type of webhook you wish to create for your server. Once we have all of the webhooks entered in your game.ini file, make sure you save the file. You can now head over to the Potbot website and navigate to the webhook configuration section. You may need to refresh the web page in order to see your newly created webhooks. It is from this page that you can edit the format of how the messages being relayed to your Discord server will appear. The preview on the right hand side will show you how it will look with the changes you are making in real time. After making all of your changes to a webhook, make sure you click save in the bottom right hand corner. You can then repeat this process to format how each of your webhooks will look individually on Discord. Let's go over how to add idle rewards next. Idle rewards can currently either be marks or growth or both if you so choose. These rewards are given to players after being connected to the server for a certain amount of time on intervals. On the Potbot website, click on Idle Rewards, then click the plus to add a new idle reward. Then where it says Pick Type, select Playtime and enter the amount of time you want to pass before the players earn their reward. In the Message section, you can type a message that will be whispered to the player every time they are granted a reward from this system. Now where it says Pick Type on the right, we will select the desired type of reward for the players. As you can see from my idle reward settings here, players on the CBU official Path of Titan server will be granted 25 marks every 15 minutes of gameplay. Now let's go over how to set up custom commands. Custom commands can do just about anything in game. On the Potbot website, navigate over to the custom command configuration section. To create a new custom command, you will then click the green plus. Setting up a custom command may seem intimidating at first, but once you make a couple, you'll get the hang of it. On the far left side of the new options, you will see two boxes. One is labeled admin, the other local. These boxes are used to determine if the command is restricted to server administrators or if the command can only be entered in the local chat in-game. If you select the admin box, then only players with the administrator role on your server will be able to run this command in-game. If you select the local box, then anyone will be able to run the command, but only in the local in-game chat, and not global. If you check both of the boxes, then only administrators can use the command, and only in local chat, not global. If you leave them both unchecked, then anyone can run the command in either local or global chat. Where it says name, enter the command as you want players to type it in-game. Be sure you do not add a prefix before the name, otherwise players will need to use the command prefix you have set for the bot in addition to also typing the prefix you have added here before the command. We can then optionally choose to select what type of cooldown we want to use for this command, if you wish to prevent players from spamming it. This setting is not required, however, to create the command. The three options you can choose from are as follows. If you choose the user option, Potbot will then use the global user cooldown setting that you have set on the main global settings page. This option will then restrict the user from doing any other commands while they are on cooldown. If you choose the command cooldown option, you may then enter how long you wish this specific command to be on cooldown for the individual user who has typed it. If you choose the server cooldown option, you may then enter how long you wish this specific command to be on cooldown for the entire server and not just the individual who typed it. The reply setting is another optional field. In the reply section, we can write something that will get whispered to the player after they run the command in-game. If you wish not to send the player a reply after running the command, then simply leave this section blank. Now that we have all those settings good to go, click Add Action so we can pick something for the command to do. 
There are many options to choose from here, so you should be able to find whatever it is you wish the command to do. By selecting the pass box, we are telling the command to take whatever information the player types after the command and use it to augment the command itself. For instance, if you are trying to allow players to check dinosaur profiles in-game, you would want to select the action Show Profile Summary as well as check the pass box. This will allow the player to then type the command followed by the name of a dinosaur profile you have created and the name they type after the command will be passed through the command, and if the profile exists, it will then type the profile to the player in-game. You can then repeat this process to create other commands that you wish to be available on your server. Once you are finished editing all of your commands, be sure to save in the bottom right corner. That then brings us to Dinosaur Profiles. These profiles serve several purposes for your server. Not only are they searchable in-game if you create a custom command to display them in-game, but they can also be displayed on your Discord with a simple forward slash dino profile command. They are also used by Potbot's nesting feature to show information about the dinosaurs that are currently nesting. Potbot does come with default profiles out of the box. If you wish to keep using these standard profiles, then you are not required to create any profiles at all. However, if you would like to be able to change all the information the bot provides regarding your dinosaurs, then you are going to want to create profiles for all of them. Once you create any custom profiles for dinosaurs, you must then create profiles for all the dinosaurs you wish to not only have profiles for, but also be nestable with. If you do not create profiles for all of your dinosaurs and only some of them, then only the ones you have created profiles for will show up. Potbot will not show default profiles for dinosaurs you have not created profiles for after you create even one custom profile. To begin creating custom profiles for your dinosaurs, head over to the Dino Profile Configuration option on the website. At the top, you will see a section to select a profile. This area is where you can select an existing profile you have already created to edit it. In order to create a new profile in the first place, we will first need to select a dinosaur from the drop-down menu. Once you have selected the dinosaur you wish to create your first profile for, you will then need to select the diet of the dinosaur. In the Dinosaur Category section, you are free to use any sort of category system you choose. Keep in mind that these categories will be used when a player uses the forward slash nest command on your Discord. On the topic of nesting, the other benefit to custom profiles is that you can then set the nest limit for that specific dinosaur. You must then enter a nickname for the dinosaur profile. The nickname can also be used as a shorthand when using any command related to this profile whether it be in-game or on your Discord. If you wish to change the picture associated with this profile, you can change that in the Dinosaur Image field. Note that if you are using an image, it is best for the image to be 1440 by 562 pixels. This size image will best fit the profile window when displayed on Discord. After all those options are set, you must then enter a summary for the profile. This can be anything you like to display for the players to read about this particular profile. After you have your summary finished, select a color to display on the side of the profile for Discord. If you wish to add any extra optional fields to the formatting of the profile, at the bottom of the page, click Add Field. This will give you a few extra formatting options when creating your profiles. You can see a real-time preview of your changes on the right-hand side of this page. After you have finished creating this particular profile, it is a good idea to then click the green button at the bottom of the page that says Create Profile. You should then also be sure to click Save in the bottom right as well. 
Now you can repeat this process for all the dinosaurs on your server to make profiles for them. Now that you have some profiles made for your server, back on the main settings page on the website, you can find some other options for tweaking the settings of Potbot on your server, such as nesting options. These options control features having to do with nesting. Just below the nest options, you will find some settings dealing with custom commands. The chat command prefix is a symbol that players must put before any in-game command to have it be recognized as a command by the bot. This can be just about any symbol besides the forward slash, as this is reserved by the game. To the right of that, you can see the setting I was talking about earlier when dealing with custom commands. The user command cooldown. I have, however, suggested to the developers that these two settings be moved into the custom command configuration page for simplicity purposes. Potbot also contains a currency system and a soon-to-come in-game shop that can then use this currency. Since this system is likely going to change soon, I won't touch on this just yet. Instead, I will make a dedicated video going over it once the shop system is implemented. Finally, this brings us to the miscellaneous settings section. Here you can find some options regarding how the bot will mark players as verified on your Discord. You can choose to have the bot alter the user's nickname on Discord to reflect their Alderaan ID. You can also choose to have it give them a custom role like I have elected to do. All players on my server who verify with the forward slash verify command on Discord after they link their account with the forward slash link command on Discord, are then granted the role Alderaan Verified. This last option is used by Potbot to determine how your server's player count room will be displayed, if you choose to have one that is. A player count room is a dedicated voice or text channel on your Discord server that will be updated with the current player count of your Path of Titans server. You can create one of these rooms on your Discord by first creating a room you wish to turn into the player count room. It is suggested to make a voice room for this as voice rooms are much more flexible when it comes to what you can name them. After you have created a room on your Discord, you can then type the forward slash player count create command. After you type this command, you will then need to select the server you are creating a player count room for followed by the Discord room you just created for this purpose. Once that is done, now that room will be dedicated to showing people on Discord how many players are currently logged in on your Path of Titans server. And that brings us to the end of this sleuth guide. Let us know in the comments what other guides you would like to see videos for in the future. Be sure to join our Discord, a link will be in the description to join the inner sleuths. Thanks for watching to the end. I have been your host Voidlock. I hope you found this guide to be useful as we look forward to sleuthing with you in the future.